So today we are going to be transforming our art installation into Cache OS. So the first thing you'll have to do is uh, you're going to have to go to the website right here that I will be uh, posting it on the description. So once you go to that website, simply copy this whole um, command here. So you can just click here right here to copy the whole command and open up your terminal. So let's go ahead and paste this command. Now what this will do is this will basically put the Cache OS repository at the first on your uh, mirror and the mirror list basically. So what that will do is basically it will um, update or download the Cache OS optimized uh, packages first. Now You'll have to first install uh, this right here, this CURL, this curl package, if you don't have that already installed. But most of the time, it's installed um, by default here. So, um, so let's go ahead and install curl. So I already have installed the curl uh, package here, so no need to install it again. So simply copy that command and paste and hit enter and hit yes and you might be asked uh, prompted to put your password in it go ahead and enter your password and the repository should be uh, installed and also uh, you may need to uh, upgrade all your packages as well so you'll have to upgrade every package you have that's already installed on the Arch. Uh, so that will be, that will need to be done as well. Now that is done, you can basically do is, you can also install Cache OS settings. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so I have already installed the Cache OS settings as well. So I'm not gonna be installing, but you'll have to type in sudo pacman s cache os setting to install it or yay if you are using aur um, wrapper okay so let's go ahead and do that and before you install cache os setting make sure you have hd parm package installed um, this will basically now this uh, let me try here it's HD, can't be spelled today for some reason. Okay. So the HD part is basically for your uh, storage device optimization that the Cache OS settings uh, does. Once that is done, you can install a package called Cache OS Kernel Manager. Okay. Once that is installed, go ahead and open up the Cache OS kernel manager here. And what you can do is you can install Cache OS kernel basically. So you can basically choose any Cache OS kernel you'd like. I chose the stable one. So you simply hit the check mark and hit execute and enter your password and it will install the kernel on your computer. Now, if you are using a systemd bootloader you'll have to navigate to your um, boot files basically so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to use nano on this uh, example so for my text editor okay so I have named my file arts.conf um, and here you'll have to change. So instead of Linux right here in this line, you'll have to change Linux dash Cache OS since that will be the kernel that we will be uh, installing. Now, if you are using other different kernel, you'll have to put the name right here. So according 
to what the name is so the name would be you can find the name basically on right here so let's say you are using this bmq lto you'll just have to type linux test cache us test bmq lto uh, on your boot uh, systemd boot files and same thing for uh, your initial ram disk here as well so linux cache us dot img these are the two lines that you have to modify and you simply save the file and you can you can simply reboot and you should be on the cache us kernel so this is the command that you can type to see if you are on the cache us kernel or not so i'm currently on the cache us kernel so that's good now if you are using grub you can simply basically uh, go to etsy default graph file and add these two lines now this two line will basically save the the kernel that you are currently using at that time so once you put this line you simply reboot and choose the kernel so make sure to also update your uh, grub configuration by doing sudo update grub if you have this com uh, package installed so yeah don't forget to update your grub and once you choose the kernel and the next time it will it reboots it will choose that kernel every time so basically it will make that kernel your default now that we have the kernel going uh, you can also install cache os hello where you can uh, make more changes to make it more like a cache os so let's go ahead and install that package so <clears throat> Okay, I already have this package installed, so let's go ahead and reinstall it. So let's go ahead and open cache us hello. And here, what you can do is you can basically click on apps and tweaks. Now I do have this first one enabled since this will also improve a improve performance. So once you have this enabled, uh, you, you may have to enter the password to enable this. So go ahead and do that. And you can also do uh, system update from this app as well, but you can always use terminal. You can reset keyrings. Uh, you can also remove a lock and you can also rank mirrors as well and change a DNS server. Um, I do have set to cloud Cloudflare here, so that's this one seems to providing a faster speed. At least I'm noticing it's giving me a faster loading web page loading times. Thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to see more on how to instruction on doing Linux sides of things, go ahead and subscribe and like this video.